You know, in Scripture, God said that He would be a father to the fatherless, that He'd be a defender of the widow and the orphan. I don't know my dad, never met him before. Um, mom was on drugs um, and couldn't take care of his kids. We never heard from her again, like not even a letter or anything. I came to Holson and I kind of kept to myself the whole entire time. Well, as, as most young people that come here uh, first tend to be withdrawn, uh, reserved, and Corey fit that mold. I had the chance to move to uh, Brummett Center. It is a program where the kids come and they, um, you have to be 16 and a half. They um, have their own apartment and they have to pay rent, which we give back to them um, when they leave. Being at Roman taught me lots of, uh, I guess, adult skills, uh, independent living skills, you know, how to get a job, you know, stay in school, find mentors, anything that you need help with, they were there to help me out with. He became his self. He became his own man. And he didn't have a problem staying away from trouble. He didn't have a problem um, being a leader. Just having that support actually kept me going through school and not giving up in math. And then also other support systems like the Martins. He came into our family um, from a post on Facebook. It was near the holidays and I put, where's family when you need it? Because at the time I was still a Brummett and I didn't have a family. And I wrote him a personal message. I didn't know who he was at the time. And I said, I'm not going to act like I didn't see that. And that's how our relationship started. He just wrote me back and thanked me so much for reaching out to him. Invited him to our home and didn't even know him and had this big giant birthday party with all the football players. And from then on out, we just hit it off and became really good friends. So I go to church with them every Sunday, went to their house after, after the Sunday, you know, met their kids, you know, just played with them all the time. And they became like another family towards me. From that moment on, we all fell in love with him and he became a part of our family. Without the independent living program at the Brummett House, uh, with the, the amazing staff here at Holston Home, without all of that, the support system, the, the drive, the structure, the accountability, um, where would Corey or any of these kids in the program be? I could have easily been one of the other kids that you know, said, forget the system, I'm doing my own thing. And then I'm, I didn't, and just come to a, a Christian school, been around good Christian people, and just having, I guess, a good community just kept me on the right track. And still today, just keep me on the right path. And I'm just so grateful for that. And God's been a huge part of that. God just kept on pushing me through and saying, don't give up because you can, you have big things coming ahead of you. I was giving up in high school, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't wanna do high school, I, didn't, I hate school. And uh, I guess it's having him saying, you know, don't give up, keep going, you can do this, you can you can fight through it. The, the experience uh, here at Holston Home through the Independent Living Program, I believe for Corey and many kids like him have, have just been priceless. He wanted to go to Carson Newman for years. And I remember when he got his acceptance letter, my staff and I were actually in this room and he was so nervous to open it, but he really screamed once it said it. You, he read that he was accepted. It was just really, really sweet. I'm a sophomore. Uh, I'm still doing good in school. I, um, I'm majoring in uh, physical education. I'm gonna be a teacher one day. That's the goal. I want to make. I want to change someone's life while I'm teaching. You know, either inspire them to either teach themselves or go out and do bigger and better things. And I think this is what I've been through can help. He also talks about having a family and being a good father. The success story for me is seeing Corey craft his success. He put the work in, he took advantage of opportunities that were given to him and, and just continued to build on it. Corey was someone who he had such perseverance. I mean, he saw it and he went after it and he got it. I can't say enough good things about Corey. Proud to have him a friend of ours and honored that he would be a representative for our ministry.